My favorite thing to bake and to eat are croissants. But being in New York, there are a lot of um, really great bakeries and excellent croissants. But one croissant is maybe like $8. And yes, there's a lot of time that goes into making croissants. But basically for $8, you can get all of your own ingredients and make your own. Okay, yes, it would take more time, but for me, baking de-stresses, and maybe it will for you as well. So that's what I'm gonna do today, is make croissants. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is and how many um, doable steps there are. And today is day one, which means all you have to do is mix the ingredients and let it sit overnight and then tomorrow we'll do the next step. So you use active dry yeast, in this case, uh, seven grams, and I added half a cup of warm water. It's important that your water is room temperature, like body temperature. If it's too hot, it will kill the yeast. Add your yeast with your water, let it sit for five minutes, and let's add the rest of the ingredients. A quarter cup of sugar, just regular granulated sugar. I melted three teaspoons of butter and on top of that, once it was melted, I added three quarters of a cup of whole milk. Okay, and you want this to be body temperature as well, which means if you hold your finger in it, it's, it's not going to be hotter than your actual um, body temperature. You know, it's going to feel not hotter, not colder, just perfect to the touch. Add that to your yeast, your water, and your sugar. Two teaspoons of salt. Three cups of flour. So, all-purpose works. All-purpose is a mixture of bread flour and pastry flour which means it has a nice balance um, of softness versus chewiness. So just add that. I'm also adding a teaspoon of sourdough starter. And mainly this is for flavor. This is not necessary, but I like the extra um, taste. That's everything. So I'm gonna add my dough hook. And I'm gonna mix it till it's nice and smooth. Clean your sides. Make sure all the flour gets in there. Want clean sides. You only wanna mix it for about three minutes maximum. You don't wanna mix it more because later on when we start adding the butter, that's when it's going to be worked. So it's still sticky. So here, let me show you. So it's still quite sticky, but that's okay. All of that is going to work itself out later. So just mix it about three minutes. And now I'm going to cover it. That's it. This is the proofed croissant dough. And I had this out to be proofed for about two to three hours. Now put it in the refrigerator and make sure to refrigerate it overnight. It has to be nice and cold for tomorrow's process. Join me tomorrow for step two.